This video is about using Tinkercad to make sure that objects are absolutely flat on a bed. Now you can look round objects. This is off the area of the bed, but this is just to put all the parts together. But look, I can move it up here. This is the easy way. And then press D, just the letter D, to lay it flat on a bed. But it could be curved or something like that underneath. So this will just lay the bottom part on the bed. Now I'll show you a trick to make sure that it is absolutely flat so that there are no curves on the bottom. You might want curved edges, and this is possible that this might take off curved edges, slightly curved edges. But well, first of all, I do a control D to do a copy, and then I move that up. Control other up. And I bring in a, what is known as a hole. Make that big enough to cover this whole part of this part I want to lay flat. Line it up a bit to cover the whole part like that. So this is this is like the, I've still got a copy up above. Notice or a copy? Yeah, the copy is up above. Doesn't matter, but because they're both the same model, I'm just going to change. How much I move down there and then setting that to one millimeter movement each time I move. Now I rotate about to make sure that I have the whole of this hole here, the missing out part there, so I drag it over. Now I have the distance I'm gonna move set to one millimeter. One half of the trick is to move this hole one millimeter higher. One millimeter. Then select both of these objects, the hole and the part, and do a group up here. That will hollow out that. Remove that. Now I'll come back in a couple of minutes because it will take some time in my case, especially because I've got quite a few parts on here that have had holes and hollows done to it so a lot of changes so it'll take a few minutes in my case to hollow up so there we are it's finished it's hollowed out that so now we've got one millimeter off the bottom of the previous model the model above in a way just that thickness there and we're going to move that down half a millimeter so it's below the bed half a millimeter now where the bed will be that's just what we want yes we want it below the bed half a millimeter depending how many bumps are on yours you might want more than this this is just an example now we select the part above and we press d to bring that down on top like so make sure that the both in line see mine somehow have got slightly out of line i'll change the distance to 0 0.01 you can do off, which is even smaller movements, and line them up a bit. Actually, I could use a line option up above. Make sure that they have a line. I'm just going to check all round, make sure that they, those two parts are in line. So that pot, bottom part we did is still half a millimeter below the bed. Yes, yeah, so half a millimeter below. So highlight, well, select both of these and group them together. So now the part as a whole is half a millimeter below the bed to a certain extent. Notice that when it, while it's grouping, it does sort of highlight them in red, so you know it's going to happen. Mine will take a few moments. So, so there the two parts are together. And I'll show you around, see that is still half a millimeter below the bed here. 
Yugoslavia. Where the bed will be. It's exactly what we want. Now we want to bring in another big hole. Well, what will be a big hole? The biggest apart again. Cover the whole area. See, not to be off there, so I'll move it over. Move quite slow because I have a small distance movement set. Make sure it's all covered again. So this is another trick coming up. Right, so I'll show you the second little trick here. There's a part with a big hole all over it. You might have to rotate about to see this little handle here, like the red one, not the top one. I think that stretches the part up, if I believe, remember right. So you don't want that one. Select this one down there and left click and drag the mouse down, see how that drags drags the whole hole and sort of indexes it in a way, show you that again, drag it down like that. Now this obviously wants to be laid flat on the bed before you start, so you just half a millimetre below the bed there, so I'll show you yet again, just drag it down, left click, now what was the bottom part is now the top part, but that's still covering that half a millimetre x-ray below the bed because it's the top part of this box now is level with the bed. I will just make sure these are in line. Now select both these parts and group them together. So it's going to cut that half a millimetre below the bed off and obviously it's going to be flat with the bed now again this will take me a few moments so i'll come back after it's finished there we are it's finished so now we've got the part flat on the bed and the bottom edge is completely flat you might lose curves on this if you want curves but actual shape that you copy down will probably have curves on so you probably get them back to a certain extent. Show you around a bit more. Let me move it over a bit. So get a bit more on the bed. I don't want to move all the parts too much. See that, that is totally flat on what will be the build plate. Okay, so that's a little trick that you need to do to get it to lay totally flat, just to let the D to make sure. So there's a look round, a good look round, inspect it, make sure it is flat all the way. And then export it and print it as normal.